Hello everybody, Rock with your money here, and today we are going to be covering mechanical and electronic shutters. Let's get right into it. Starting off with mechanical shutters, these have been around since the dawn of photography pretty much. You couldn't have film photography without mechanical shutters, and you couldn't have DSLRs without mechanical shutters. And even still, most mirrorless cameras still have mechanical shutters. These shutters were physical elements that would open and close in order to take pictures. The main benefits of mechanical shutters are that they can be synced up with flashes, and they protect against flickering lights. The one downside though is that they have a shortened lifespan due to being a mechanical element moving around inside of the camera. Moving on to electronic shutters, on the other hand, they are completely silent and they work by turning the sensor on and off. And, and when compared to mechanical shutters, they are a more recent development found in phones, drones, and pretty much anything that doesn't have the space for an actual mechanical shutter. These have been gradually been taking over in the places of mechanical shutters. Will they replace them? Not now. In the future, it's likely. Electronic shutters in cameras such as the Canon R5 and R6 are extremely powerful, and even though these cameras can do 12 frames per second in the regular mechanical mode, when you put it into electronic shutter mode, it goes to 20 FPS, which is blazing fast for photos. And I don't think you're going to need anything more than that really, because after that you'd be essentially shooting raw video. The benefits of having electronic shutters are there are no moving parts, and they can shoot extremely fast. The main downside with mechanical shutters are that they cannot really be synced with flashes to the same degree the mechanical shutters can be. And when you're shooting in an environment with flickering lights, they do not have protection against flickering lights. It will appear in your images as if it were to appear in video with streaking lines going across the images. And electronic shutters can introduce artif motion artifacting. As time goes on, these technologies will be improved. The only real thing I don't really like about the electronic shutter is that you don't get the shutter sound. I just like the sound of the camera clicking, but if I want that 20 frames per second or if I'm in an environment where I do need to shoot silent, I like it. And that is pretty much it. That is, Those are the differences between electronic and mechanical shutters. I hope you enjoyed the video. And now for a word from our sponsor, Pepito's Music. Pepito's Music has provided me with lots of amazing lo-fi music that I've been using in my videos for uh, quite a while now. Check the link in the description to find out more. Alright, that's everything. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.